what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is nash and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create compound clips in vimora now these are going to allow you to combine a bunch of clips on the timeline if you have like 20 different tracks on the timeline and you want to combine them into one clip that's going to simplify things this is the way to do it you're going to be using compound clips so i'm going to show you how to do that let's go ahead and get started so as you can see here i have a video on the timeline we have about three different tracks one with uh some text and there's some um you know transitions between the text we also have videos here different clips and we also have some audio here this is muted just in case this is copyrighted uh, so i muted this just in case it plays but essentially if i want to combine this into one clip right so i can uh, just simplify my timeline right or i can even apply effects to that singular uh clip so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and select uh, the clips that i want to add into the compound right for the most part you're going to want to add everything so if you want to add specific things you can select uh, the clip itself hold control on the keyboard and select the other clips or a faster way to do this would be to just uh, click drag and select everything on here right or you can do control a which is a keyboard shortcut that's going to allow you to select everything so control a now everything is selected once you have everything selected, you want to go ahead and right click on the uh, on the um, on any of the uh, the tracks and you're going to see an option that says create compound clip and the shortcut is alt plus G. If you are a person that likes to use shortcuts, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And as you can see here, it's going to allow you this is going to uh, ask you to name your compound clip. So I recommend actually using names if you have a big project where you know that, hey, I'm going to compound uh, this scene, right? Scene four, I'm going to compound it. You can name it uh, that way, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use the default name. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, as you can see here, this is going to convert all those selected clips or uh, tracks into one singular uh, clip here, as you can see, right? Now, this is my compound clip now everything is all combined on here now what you can do with this is you can actually add additional effects right so if i wanted to add effects to the entire thing right and i can go to um, effects and you can apply those um on here so if i wanted to add uh some of these let's see let's find one here this is a glitch uh effect here you can just add that on here now this is going to apply literally to everything right that was on the time that we had text we had video clips that's going to apply to everything since this is applying to the co uh, compound clip that includes everything right so one of the cool things you do here is you can actually double click on the compound clip clip so double click on it this is going to take you to i'm going to hit okay this is going to open up what's inside the compound clip right so literally your original timeline with everything in it let me go ahead and expand this this is our original video right so if you want to edit things inside the compound clip that's going to be the way to do it you just jump in there double click on it and you can start editing here let's say you want to remove one of the clips or you want to add more text somewhere here you can go ahead and do that now how do you exit this if you go over to the left side of the screen there's going to be a drop down here next to the uh, the little home uh, icon here click that drop down it's going to allow you to navigate between the compound clips. So if you create multiple compound clips within this timeline, you're going to see them on here. So I have two. This is my first one here that I have, which is pretty much the same thing. And this is the one I'm working on right now. Right. Let me go ahead and hit. Don't remind me again. All right. So it's going to take me into here. Now, if you want to exit this, go back to, the, to your compound clip. Hit where it says main timeline. OK. My main timeline has the compound clip and it has what I just added on here. Now, let's say I wanted to, you know, add this to the compound clip, the effect that I just added on top. I'll just select this, hold control, select the compound clip, right click, go ahead and create compound clip. Like This is going to be a third one because it's creating something else that is not in the original. It's not going to add it into my compound clip number two. So go ahead and hit OK. And if I go back to my um, drop down here on the left side of the toolbar, you're going to see that now we have three different compound clips, right? This one is going to include our effect that we added. If we go to one we created earlier, it doesn't include that, right? You can also right click and you can save as compound clip custom. So this, if this is something that you want to do, let's say you create an intro to your YouTube, right? It obviously has a video. It has some text. It has some music. It has, um, you know, a bunch of things that you add on there. Now, if you want to just 
comp compile the entire thing into one compound clip you can do that and you can actually save it as a default right if you as a, a custom clip so click on that and now it's gonna save as a custom so every time you have a new video let me go ahead and delete this you can actually go to um, media up here and on the bottom, you're going to see where it says compound clip and you are going to have your default. So if this was your intro that you turned into a compound clip, you can, you can go ahead and add that on your timeline before your video or after your video. And if you want to edit your, you know, that compound clip, double click on it. Right. And it's going to take you to what needs to happen, right? Where you can, uh, where you are going to be able to go into the compound clip. So as you can see, I can go into multiple compound clips here. I can go into my, um, let me go ahead and delete this. I go to my compound uh, custom. So if I add this, as you can see, I can open this up, right? Go into this, the one with the effect. And if you remember, I initially created a compound clip without this. So this is actually a compound clip that I combined with an effect. So I can still go into this one as well, right? Because it's now it takes me to the original. So this is pretty cool to uh, mess with. It's pretty cool to kind of like simplify your timeline, especially if you're working on a big project. This is going to be one of those things that's going to keep you organized on your timeline. So let me know if you guys want to learn more about compound clips. I can make more videos on this, more detailed videos with actual examples of content on how you can do that. But uh, for now, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.